equation. Now, another thing that you could think about, and this makes sense, is just look at the equations that we started with. Partial u, partial x1 equals lambda p1 down to partial u, partial xn equals lambda pn. I got my n equations. And remember, lambda is the same in every equation. So it tells me that in equilibrium, marginal utilities are proportional to prices. And lambda is that factor of proportionality. So if we can measure the prices that people face, we can indirectly measure their marginal utilities because we know their marginal utilities have to be proportional to their prices. And as economists, we use that all the time. That prices are very revealing about people's values precisely because people are optimizing. Right? It tells us that when good, one good costs five times what another good is, that to the individuals consuming that good, let's say price of, price of good 10 equals five times the price of good six. Well, that tells us that a unit of good 10 it's got to be worth five times as much as good six. People say, well, that's market value. That's not real value. And your answer is what? What should your answer be? Is this just the market value, or is this... What would be true about a bunch of consumers, 300 million consumers, buying these two products in this market? So what, what if everybody's buying the good and they can buy as much as they want and they're buying to the point, just like we have here, nice, smooth, indifference curves and all that, that everybody's value would be five times. Everybody would say this good's five times as good as that good on the margin. I value this good five times as much as I value that good for all the people that are buying. And that ratio of market values is going to be not just applied to some arbitrary person, it applies to a lot of people. It applies to everybody in my simple example where everybody can buy all they want. Any questions that people have? We'll come back and deal with corners in a minute, which is really what you're talking about. All right. So is there any powerful implications of that? I'll give you one. Let's say, for example, I observe somebody, two alternative states in the world. In state one, he consumes x1 up to xn. Let's put, a, let's put a, a star here. These are his equilibrium consumptions. Price is p1 up to pn, and income m. And now let's assume that we perturb the market in some way. We change prices, we change income, maybe we change income and prices simultaneously. So we have some DM as a change in income, DP1 up to DPN as a change in prices, and I see DX1 up to DXN are the changes in consumption. And I want to know, has this perturbation to prices and income made this person better off or worse off? How would I measure that? In other words, what can I say about DU? What can I say about the change in utility? Is this person now better off or worse off than he was before we changed his prices and income? Well, let's think about it. What is DU? <coughs> what is DU? Well, it's DU of X1 up to XN. Everybody agrees with that, right? So isn't DU equals the sum from I equals 1 to N of 
partial u, partial x, y, the x side. What do you agree with that? It's du, right? Why is utility different than it was a minute ago? It changed because I changed all my consumptions. But what's partial u, partial x i? What is it? That's lambda pi. So du equals sum from i equals 1 to n of lambda pi pxi equals the sum from i equals 1 to n with the lambda on the outside, because the lambda doesn't depend on i, of pi dxi. And the key notion is that P, the sum of pi dxi is an observable quantity. It's an observable quantity. It's something I can measure. I know the prices. I know the changes in consumption. I can ask, is he better or worse off just by looking at this equation? This equation is going to tell me, but it's not only going to tell me whether he's better or worse off, it's going to say du over lambda equals the sum from i equals 1 to n pi dxi. But what is du over lambda? Well, du is the change in utility. Change in utility. And what is lambda? It's a change in utility per dollar of income. So this is the dollar value of how much better off he is. That is, I can measure whether he's better or worse off, but not only can I measure he's better or worse off, I can measure by how much he's better off to the tune of 100 bucks, or he's better off or worse off to the tune of 10 bucks, whatever way it goes. What am I using here? How am I measuring whether he's better or worse off simply by looking at that formula? What's at the core of this? 